Okay, I guess we're recording now. So, I was just going to say, if you want to get through the switches, you got to wire the the cars together. Well, the motorized units, like there's two here, there's two there, there's two there. Um, and even then, <laughs> let's turn this off. Maybe the wrong thing turned on here. Yeah, you're going way too fast. Even then, uh, it just takes an eyelash to knock this stuff off the tracks. It's so small. But yeah, if you wire them together, you can usually get them to push through the um, switches. Uh, you'll notice this little guy kind of stalls there. Let's see, am I even... Yeah, I'm not even... Yeah, they're pretty good. We're pushing through without the switch at the right setting there. But yeah, that's one way to get through the switches. It's not very prototypical, but uh, if you're just playing with toy trains like I am, it, it works great. I've been running these for, God, well over a hundred um, rainy winter nights, and um, no motor failures or anything, and it still run pretty good. And let's let me bring this little guy out. I'm going to speed it up a bit. Yeah, look at that. See, there you go. Even the, even with a double engine, it doesn't want to let it through. There we go. Yeah, so it's not as that easy to get them to run right, that's for sure. But the, having that helps. And um, this note, I put this road. That's something new for anyone that's seen any previous videos. Uh, so anyways, there you go. Is that thing going to make it around? Yeah. It's always a real if, iffy proposition. Let's see here. Yeah. They're not running that well, but they're doing all right. You can see they're getting a, running at different speeds here. Uh, what can you do, you know? Alright. Let's get this one into the... There's a shut-up zone. Let's back this one up here. Yeah, that's the only way you can really get them to go through the switches. You actually have to wire the darn things together. I'm doing a very poor job of prototypical shunting. This, <laughs> but it's just a toy. So. Oh boy! Let's see what's this, this work. You never know. There we go. Decoupled. Decoupled. So, anyways, yeah. Doing the coupler on coupler thing here. It's kind of for fun. But you can run them, if you want to pay attention to the controls, you can run them really slow. And, uh, yeah, it's just, you gotta, it's not prototypical, but that way they do work a little better. Okay, so, again, thanks to this new group, for letting me in. Okay, enough of this. Let's well, let's turn this back on just for fun. Okay, so yeah, they run great slow. They don't run so after you know hundreds of hours on them. They don't run that well fast anymore. Or me medium range. They run fast. They run slow. They don't run medium range. Okay, we'll cut the tape here. Yeah, yeah. Now let's let it go just for fun. People always say, oh, we like to watch them go slow. <laughs> there they go. They're going slow. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, I just find this so addictive watching these little things run. Sometimes I just leave them running, you know, for hours in the evening when I'm doing something else. It's so much fun. All right, let's 
Go T Gauge. Let's see if this will. Yeah, they actually got back to the station here, so. Okay. And let's just move this guy around and we'll turn it off over here. Should really run better when they're going slow. Okay. We'll cut the tape here for sure this time. Okay.